Hi guys, I hope you're well and welcome back. Today I have a haul for you that is somewhere I've never shopped before, but I keep seeing the flaming TV adverts all the time and it forced me into online shopping there. And the shop I'm talking about is Nasty Gal. Now Nasty Gal I think are an American brand that have recently been purchased or bought by Boohoo. So we have them in the UK now and I've actually watched part of the documentary on Netflix about the brand and I was super excited to kind of give them a go and see what they had online. So I have some pieces here. I have to say the price points were actually very similar to Boohoo. They weren't too expensive, not too cheap, kind of middle of the road, don't mind paying that. There wasn't too much that was overpriced. And also I think I got free next day delivery on this because I spent over a hundred pound, I think. Um, so yeah, so worth spending a little bit more. If you've got like 50 pound left in your basket, you might as well spend it for next day delivery and you can always send the things back if you don't want them. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna show you what I picked up on Nasty Gal. Nasty Gal, I think you have to be American to say that properly, but we're just gonna go with it. So the first thing I bought is this little dress and it's like a little shirt dress. There we go. It's black and it's got pink flowers all over it and at the neckline it's got this kind of collar. So I guess that's what makes it into a shirt dress. And then at the back it's got this pretty little tie that you can tie into a bow and it's got a little keyhole opening as well. I'm not too sure on this, I need to try this on. It looked a bit different on the model to what has turned up. Um, the sleeves are kind of balloon and they cuff at the wrist as well. Material wise, it feels okay. It's not the most luxurious quality ever, um, but I can't remember how much this was. Um, I don't think it was very expensive. I'll pop the price on the screen. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a stiff material, but I think with a few washes, it would soften up. And I basically got this because I thought it would look really cute with a pair of tights and some pink boots and maybe like a little pink handbag. I have some pink boots that would go perfectly with it. I also really think it would look nice with a little leather jacket and a bit like rocky. Um, so yeah, so I liked this. I like the length of it. I like that it's a little bit oversized. I just need to try on because I'm not too sure on how high the neckline comes up. But um, we'll give that a go and see what we think about that. And of course, I'll leave all the links to these products down below so you can click those and it'll take you straight to the item as well. This dress is a no from me. I don't like it at all. Like, I think maybe some people might like it if they like the kind of shirt style dress. It would be really nice if you worked in an office with some black tights and some boots. But I just feel like I hate the cuff like sleeves. I don't like the shirt style neckline. And I think the kind of overall kind of feel and fit of it on me doesn't really work for my kind of shape, my figure. Um, but yeah, so I think it's a no from me on this one. But someone out there might like this dress. They might think that it would suit them. I think if you had like little short hair, you wore her hair up in a bun. Again, you worked in an office with a little pink blazer, it could work. I just think for me and the kind of thing that I wear daily, I just wouldn't wear this. And then next up we have one of my faves and big old cozy knitted jumper because you guys know I love my jumpers and winter time is a perfect time to wear them after all. So this one is a striped jumper and on the screen I thought this was black and cream but it's actually navy and cream. Again on the screen it does look black but I would probably still wear this with black. It's quite a dark navy so I think it would work. I got it in a big, bigger size. I got this in a size 12, I think, a size 12, because I wanted it to be really oversized and super baggy. And I just thought this was really cute and cozy, and I could just see this with a pair of like shiny leather trousers, big clumpy boots, I don't know, red lipstick. I just really love a good old striped jumper. It's a really nice material, it's super soft, um, stretchy. It's not the most stretchiest material in the world, but again, it is, it's kind of the cuffs that aren't that stretchy. But again, it was super, super cheap, I think. So I think it's really nice just to kind of throw on for a nice winter's day. I can imagine wearing this around the house with a pair of leggings, which is always what I wear around the house anyway. But yeah, I just really liked this and I thought I could always dress it up or dress it down, wear it casual, like pop a red lipstick on, a big tassel earrings, and I could wear it during the day as well. So I really liked that, it just caught my eye but let's give it a go and see what it looks like on as well. So this is jumper on, I really, really like it. It's not as oversized as I thought it might be, considering I sized up. So I would definitely say that if you want it baggy and loose, because it's quite tight on these, um, this kind of bottom bit, I would say if you want this to be baggy, size up twice perhaps, because it does come up quite small. But I actually don't mind that because I can kind of ruffle it under 
and make it a little bit shorter so I'm not too bothered but um, I would ideally like this a little bit bigger but I love the fact that it's striped, I love the material, I love how it looks just with a pair of black jeans, just plain jeans, this top, good to go so I really like how it looks, I just wish it was a tad bigger but that's my fault so um, yeah, really like this. So next up we have something a little bit different for me, so these are a pair of pinstriped trousers and they are quite high waisted and on the model they looked a little bit more ruched around the top but the buttons do go all the way to the top as well. Not sure how I feel about them, again I'll try them on and show you guys what they look like. Um, I don't know if they fit very nicely, I got these in a size small um, and I do really like the material, like they feel like they should be really comfortable. I just think it's maybe my body shape. I have got quite a long body and very short legs. So I think these would look good if you have very long legs and they could be slightly cropped as well. But I do like the idea of these. I just think I need to kind of figure out if they look right on me as a person rather than trying to like fit the style around me, if that makes sense. I've got to say guys, I don't even know what I'm showing you. Well, I'm showing you because it's so bad. These are the trousers. I absolutely hate them. I think they are a really bad cut. They're not made very well at all. Like the pockets have got like a pleat and then the pockets go all the way down to like there. Like there. That's way too deep for pockets. Um, and you can't get your hand out without pulling the whole pocket in. They're like pull along here. They're really, really loose on me. It's not like they're too tight. They're really, really loose, but they pull really badly, so it kind of looks like I've got rolls, even though they're not tight. Don't get that. Yeah, again, here we've got like puckering of the pleats with the pockets, and around here, I've tried to make it work by pulling out the t-shirt. I just absolutely hate these trousers. I can't even like begin to tell you how bad they are. So I take back everything I previously said about them being nice. They are not nice at all. And um, they're not even a nice length, but there's no point even showing you like, they're just horrible, so yeah. So no from me on the trousers, but I've tried, I have tried to make it work, like I hope you can see how bad they are on screen, but um, yeah, it's not going to happen for me with these I'm afraid. And then next up we have another jumper, I know, I'm sorry, um, but this one I absolutely love, and this is a little red jumper, look how cute that neckline is, it has this really cute like ruffled neckline, and then on the wrists it has this really nice ruffled um, wrist detailing, and then it has it around the bottom of the jumper as well, as you can see. There we go. Um, it is a crop jumper, so it comes up quite short, but with a pair of high-waisted mum jeans, I am gonna love how this looks, I know I am. I really like the idea of having a cropped knit with jeans for winter. I just feel like it gives a really nice kind of different take on the knitted jumper and it's not so long and oversized and baggy like what I'm used to. Um, and as well, I love this color red. It's very festive and very Christmassy, I know, but I think just with a really bright red lipstick, my hair in a bun, it just completes an outfit. Texture-wise, it's a very, very stretchy jumper, which I love. I love a little bit of stretchy minute wear, and I really like the fact that it's kind of like a soft material, but it's not too soft. I don't think this is the kind of jumper that would bobble, so that's a good thing. Um, and of course, for me, what wins me over with this is the ruffle neckline. I just love how that looks and I love that it's in the sleeves and the bottom as well. And I got this in a size small as well. Now I absolutely love the neckline of this jumper. I don't know if you, I've tried to like tuck my hair in so you guys can see it. It's ruffly and it's stretchy. So it's just like a really nice comfortable neckline for ruffles. It doesn't feel too tight. I could literally like pull it off the side if I wanted to, it's that stretchy. So I really, really like that element. I'm not keen on the length though. I wish this was like longer. If it was like down to there, like I would definitely 100% love this even more. The fact that it is quite short and it rides up, it kind of shows my belly button and I don't feel very comfortable showing off my belly button at 29, even though it's fine too. Just personal preference, I don't. Um, and the, short, the sleeves are quite short as well, but maybe if you didn't have such a long body like me, this would be more kind of fitting. I do have a very, very long body, so that is probably why it's showing up to be so short. Love the colour, love the neckline, love the ruffles, just not the length. So next we have something that may be a little bit evening-y and a little bit, well, I guess it is kind of coming up to party wear season, so it's okay. I just picked this up because I could not put it in my basket, basically. I have nowhere to wear it to. No, no balls to go to, no parties, but I just thought, you know what, that is coming home with me. And it is this blue velvet maxi dress. So as you can see at the front, it's a very low V. I probably would put something a bit lacy underneath just to 
uh, stop me dignity from completely disappearing. Um, it's got short little sleeves here, and then it has this kind of, I guess it kind of looks like a crossover waist, but it's not, and it has this little um, tie up here. And then it goes all the way to the floor, and it has a big slit up the side too. I'll probably have to show you this on for you to see the beauty of it, I guess. But I just really love the color of this. Like, I feel like blue is kind of my color, and it's something that I don't really wear a lot of, especially blue velvet. I haven't seen this kind of blue in a velvet print yet, and I just absolutely love how this looks. I think this is gonna be great for like New Year's Eve. I probably wouldn't wear this to Tesco, um, admittedly, but um, if Tesco's were having a Christmas party, it would look fab. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna show this on because as you can see, I can't really show you what it looks like holding it up. It's gonna be really hard to show you this dress on, but it's basically the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, so it goes all the way to the floor. Don't know if you can see that. Oh, <laughs> it is very, very slit heavy. I have to hold here because I thought it does open all the way to the top. So I would definitely put a little petticoat underneath or some kind of short or leggings or something. Um, but yeah, I love the colour. And if you have some sort of fancy party or even a ball, you could definitely get away with this. I think it's definitely ball worthy. I don't have much to go to myself, but I'm tempted just to start my own party just so that I can wear this because I love it that much. So I have two more items left. The first one is a little slogan t-shirt because I saw this and I loved the kind of 70s feel that it had so it's a white t-shirt and then on the front in red writing it has the word honey <laughs> and they had this in reverse so they had a red t-shirt with white writing that said chips I think and um, which I almost got but I really wanted the white version because I have more to go with this I think it's very cool and I think it's very 70s vibe the font especially like I love that kind of 70s font at the moment and I think this is something that I could wear just with a pair of jeans with a little corduroy skirt which is coming up and um, with some flared jeans with some culottes and um, with a red jacket over the top a leather jacket red lipstick basically the slogan t-shirts are something that you can wear all the time with absolutely everything and because they're slogan t-shirts they're on trend so it kind of makes it cool so um yeah i picked this up and i really liked this i can't i think it was like a tenner or something this is a t-shirt on as you can see it's quite oversized and actually i didn't realize how long it would be which is actually perfect because i could wear this with leggings as well if i wanted to um i love the fact that it's really long and i would actually probably wear this around the house quite a lot because of that very simple not much to it like I said, I did get a medium because I wanted it to be quite oversized. That is definitely what it is. It's oversized. If you want something a bit more fitting, either size down or go true to size because it is a little bit kind of on the bigger size. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I love this little element to it and I think it looked really nice with a red jacket or a leather jacket just for a little bit of fun. Red beret, that kind of style I think would look really cute. So yeah really like this. So lastly from the Nasty Gal haul is the one thing that I've actually already wore because as soon as it arrived I had to like get this out and wear it and a few of you have seen it on my Instagram already but it is the cord skirt of dreams. So this is the cord skirt, I got it in a size 10, um, I can't remember again I'll pop the price on the screen but yeah it's a cord skirt and it buttons up all the way to the bottom. I have actually already wore it so hence why the buttons are undone, whoops. When I wore it I did feel like Nancy from Stranger Things but that's fine, that's cool, I'm, I'm happy with that, I'm very happy with that. Corduroy skirt, really easy to wear, love how this looks, you can wear it with a black jumper and black tights with boots. I wore it with this top and navy tights with tan boots. Um, you can wear it with a beret, basically you can wear it with absolutely anything you like. White t-shirt, it would go really nice with that slogan t-shirt as well. Um, it fits really nicely, it's nice and long as well, it's not like a really short skirt and I do like my skirts to be a little bit longer. The only thing that I don't like too much about this skirt is that sometimes when you bend over the buttons can unpop, especially the last two. So for instance when I was putting my shoes on in the morning, Top, the bottom two um, buttons did unpop and it didn't happen so much just walking around London but when I bent over a few times the bottom one did unpop a little bit and um, which is fine like I can deal with that as long as it's not all of them it doesn't matter too much because it's such a long skirt that actually even if the bottom one was open you wouldn't be showing too much skin and flesh and I had tights on but yeah I really like this and if they were to do it in 10 different colours I would buy them all so this is the skirt. As you can see, it's a really nice length. It's kind of like just before my knee, which I love. This is it with a little kind of slogan tee just tucked in, which I actually really, really like. So yeah, I really like the skirt. I think it's a really nice 
length and it just feels really comfortable I got a size 10 which is a little bit big like it's not the tightest skirt ever but I wanted to be able to turn tuck jumpers and stuff in so I definitely think a 10 is perfect for me and um yeah I just really liked it I thought it was a very very kind of 70s slash 60s feel very stranger things love how it looks with this little slogan tee as well so yeah <laughs> so there you go guys that is my nasty gal haul that's everything i picked up online i hope you enjoyed this video if you did do give it a nice big thumbs up and don't forget to leave your comments below with what piece you like the most of course if you're interested in any of the items i have purchased i will leave the link to them below you can just click those and it'll take you directly to the website and i think that's about all i have to tell you <laughs> Oh, I'm out of breath. Also, if you want to, you can subscribe. I'll leave my face on the screen right now, somewhere around here. Click that and you can subscribe. Yay! <laughs> Bye! Mwah.